Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Jet here once again for the Tyclonix channel. Today I'm going to be getting straight into it with a very, very quick review of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Gi made by Fleury Sports. So, this is a lightweight Jiu Jitsu Gi. Um, apparently, it's a unisex Gi, which, um, which is fine. It's in purple, obviously, a very unique color and very, very surprising. I've had this for about two years. I'll use it two to three times a week. Just for rolling, obviously I can't do comps in it or anything like that, but it is not faded in color. And if you like that bright, striking, that really strong, powerful purple, it's this is the gear to get, right? It's a beautiful color. Um, it's very unique. Um, guys at the club love it because it's it's kind of hilarious, <laughs> but um, uh, anything to stand out, I guess, on the mats uh, is a bit of fun because I've been going for a little while now, familiar with the crowd. Okay, so this is um, this lightweight gi feels a lot cooler and a lot lot lighter. It's ideal ideal for uh, all types of training, specifically in the summer where it's a little bit warmer up on the mats. If you don't um, uh, have a, an accommodating uh, sensei that uh, likes to put the air conditioning on or the fans, training in um, in sweating heat, which is awesome. Um, Eva foam collar, which hasn't degraded over about a year or two of use. Uh, so obviously it's got the round drawstring in the pants as well. There are some reinforced areas to the elements such as the three rows of reinforced cuff linking. Um, uh, what else? There's three rows of ankle cuff lining um, in the opening of the leg as well. That's obviously to help the pants maintain the tapered shape. And what else? We have uh, it's one piece construction as most quality gis are. Uh, there's no back seam. It's reinforced stitching for the strength and the durability of, of the um, the product itself. There's embroidery on the sleeves, embroidery on the jacket and the pants. Um, so this comes with no belt, obviously it comes with the pants, the gi jacket or kimono and a pretty cool looking gi tote bag as well. So I'll just go into it and show you what it looks like uh, without talking too much. Uh, let's have a look. So I bought this on the website, this was less than 200 Australian dollars. I particularly like the A3 size, it says it doesn't shrink on the website but it shrunk after a few months of use by about 2 centimeters. So if you're an A3, A3 will be comfortable for you but I wear A2 and it shrunk down just a little bit. So it is a little bit bigger on me. Obviously once again guys, they're always, well they're usually 100% um, cotton and uh, once again don't dry clean these things. They won't appreciate it. If anybody can read kanji, can you please tell me what that means? It just looks nice. Love the black collar. Uh, still, I'm, I'm not a black belt, and I refuse to wear any geese that are black until I've earned that respect. I think you can respect that. This is the logo down the bottom here, guys. Fleury, stay active, Fleury wear, Fleury sports. You can see inside, it's almost like a very silky looking material with the, uh, the Japanese, what would you call that, kabuki or the opera masks, or a Japanese demon, let's say, the Oni. Uh, it does not come with the butterfly here. That's just uh, my own embroidery butterfly. Purple representing uh, lupus. So if you're not familiar with lupus, or not aware of what lupus is, lupus is a debilitating, potentially um, deadly disease. It's an autoimmune disease. Um, they don't know how uh, you get lupus, whether you're born with it, whether it's through um, whether it's hereditary uh, or not, but um, in 2017, so just give you a quick background, in 2017 my wife um, of 17 years, she passed away from lupus here in Australia in, a, in a hospital after 42 days battling with it. So long story short, that's why I wear the purple wristband as well and the pink wristband. Yeah, so particularly wear purple, obviously it's not a practical colour for comps, but I wear it as a uh, it's synonymous with um, lupus, which is during the month of May, and coincidentally. So, World Lupus Day is actually the 10th of May every year. And um, it's not very common here in Australia, but if you're from the United States, uh, you might be familiar with uh, lupus and its effect it has on people and those living with it. So, that's uh, hashtag lupus warriors. You can go to Instagram, look up my Instagram if you want. Some more story, uh, stories on my Instagram page. Tyclonix, exactly the same name as the channel, guys. So yeah, that butterfly just signifies, um, yeah, what it means to 
be a lupus warrior and a lupus supporter. So very active on the um, social media website on Instagram and Facebook. That's what I can show you on that. I've had no issues with this. As I say, if the color changed, if the color faded, I would probably get another one. But I've had this for some rabbit fur. Uh, I've had this for probably just on two years and it has not really faded at all. Um, I'll wear it three to four times a week. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Nice ski. Very well made. And same with the pants, guys. A3 pants as well. Rounded cord. Rip stop in the seams. And the hem there. Once again with the butterfly down the bottom. It's just, a, it's just a nice touch. It's very, very subtle. Being a bigger guy, jumping on the mat, seven butterflies and wearing purple. It's very, very striking and it, and it really stands out. But no, you know what? These pants have not faded at all. They have not faded one bit. The jacket, a little bit. But, um, for under 200 bucks, guys, Australian, you, uh, AUD, couldn't go wrong with a lightweight, um, you know, summer gear. And the bag itself probably needs a wash, but that's what it looks like. It's a website, Fluity Sports, and Fluity Stay Active as well. It's obviously their uh, their motto, their logo. Uh, yeah, as I said, guys, it doesn't come with a belt. Uh, a lot of well, many geese don't. Uh, that's going to do me for, uh, for today, guys, with a quick review. I know I went on a little bit longer because of the lupus stuff, but um, yeah, that's what I've got for you today. I will see you in the next video. Thumbs up, give me a comment. Um, tell me what you like, what you don't like, what I can fix for my next videos. I'm still trying to get this channel up and going. Um, if you know what to do for a living, those of you uh, who know me personally, it's, uh, it's quite tasking to, to have time to do these videos for you, but you know what? It's rewarding nonetheless. Um, all your comments are valuable. I take everything very I uh, take all of them very seriously and try to reply to you uh, in a timely manner and uh, appropriately and accordingly. So, like, thumbs up, subscribe, and all that. I don't really care. I'm just here for fun. Um, yeah, we'll see you soon, and that'll about do it for me today. So, uh, Peter Griffin signing off. Uh, this is the This is the kind of thing I like to do. So, uh, that's me saying bye. So, bye.